Okay, hey, hi givers, this is uh, Dennis from the Give Asia. I'm here with me today, Stephanie? Yeah, hi. <laughs> okay. Stephanie is from uh, Talent Tribe and uh, Talent Tribe has uh, started a campaign on the Give Asia as part of this uh, Singtel Future Makers. Mm. And they are doing wonders for the world, for the, you know, the That's social the space. <laughs> for the social space. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> let me, um, I, I'll, okay. I'll let her do the, I'll let her do the introduction. Hear from her. Would you mind sharing with uh, you know our audience uh, uh, who is Talent Tribe? Sure. Just start by sharing a bit of our backstory. Okay. So Talent Tribe was started by myself and uh -huh. my co-founder Sharon. Okay. And essentially, we are like storytellers by nature. Because mm. Sharon and I, we both just graduated from SMU last year. Okay. Mm. And what we felt is that. You know, we were job seekers ourselves, but mm. we didn't really know what is it like to work in different companies. There's like so many names out there, like what is it really like in the culture? How is it like for us to work there? Okay. So that was when we actually started, not in the social way at first. Ah. So it was really like a mix of like just any organization, any career. Okay. How is it like for me to work there? How can I work there? So we go into different companies and mm. we film their office space, we film their employees sharing about what they do. And then we piece it together on our website. So wow. if you come to our website, you'll see visuals, yes. like photos, videos. Correct. Yeah, of how, how a career at that company will look like. Ooh, mm. Interesting. So if it's not the social side, there's like, you know, quite big brands like Sephora there, Kraft yes. Heinz. There's even like, you know, the Smart Local. There's even finance companies. Mm. Singtel is on as well. So okay. it's a very varied, varied range of it. Right. And the whole idea of it is so that you know, you don't just have like finance students coming for finance jobs, you don't have marketing students coming for marketing jobs. Mm. But everyone here, is, everyone here is to explore like, you know, what are different careers out there. Ah, mm. so that's what the uh, initial... Uh, Career. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. the reason why we actually ventured into social as well right. was because we personally felt that there's actually a very nice cause behind yes. you know, a career in the social sector. Right. It's really meaningful and when you talk to other students about it, they are saying things like, you know, it's very meaningful, yeah, I, I really want to volunteer there. Mm. But then when we dive deeper, like, oh, will you consider a career there then? Mm. A lot of them come back with like a bit of apprehension. Oh. Correct. So some of them will tell us things like, um, I'm not sure la. like the pay may not be good. Okay. Uh, it might not, I'm not sure, it, will it be good for my future resume? Okay. This kind of things. And we'll be like, hmm. And there's a lot of misconceptions. So some of them will say like, oh, it might not be as advanced as I think, that kind of thing. So there's so many misconceptions around the social sector. I see. We're thinking of how can we rebrand it such that we can bring out the good stories of what it's like to work there. Mm. So use like our expertise as storytelling to bring it out. Because personally for me, I've been in like uh, uni Y, which is uni YMCA previously. Okay. And I did a few of others like um, different community involvement projects as well. And it was really a very feel good feeling that, you know, you could actually be there to help the different beneficiaries and make an impact. Definitely. Mm. And when we talk to other people working there as well in the social sector, mm. those are the stories they share as well. Uh, mm, but then why are these stories not actually getting out the job seekers and like right. changing their mindsets? Yes. So that was pretty much it for us. I see. Mm. So this is where it all started. Yes, correct. Okay, that's a very, very meaningful way because uh, I guess uh, a lot of these uh, charities would uh, require talents that you yes, have, exactly. you know, to tell their story because there's so many good stories out there from the charity space. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, share a bit about uh, your campaign. Okay, sure. <laughs> so for our campaign, what we are doing is we are actually raising money to be able to help different charities or different social organizations okay. come up with these storytelling profiles. I see. Because even if we were to do it at cost and things like that, mm. producing videos, producing photos, all this would you know, take up some time and money and cost as well. Yep. And what we realized from talking to some social organizations is that yeah, they're sometimes they're too small, but they're really, really keen on this storytelling thing. Yes. Yes, but how can they actually afford like um, videos when they also have to do their normal operations, right? Because they don't have the resources. Correct. Yeah. So to make it more scalable and more manageable for both of us, mm. like both parties, that's what we are doing now. So for all the money um, raised during the fundraising campaigns, we're actually focused on producing free content okay. for each of these different social organizations. Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. And so that's that we can so awesome. actually tell their stories online. Okay. So right now we already started, you know, of just 
know, for free. Mm. Uh, for two different social organizations. Okay. One is Ashoka. Ashoka, yes. Mm. Mm. So for those of you who aren't that familiar with it, it's a really amazing organization where they try to empower you know, different individuals to be change makers in their own right. Yes. Yes. Definitely. So they have the yes. Ashoka Fellows exactly. and they invest money in them. Correct. Yes. The other one is Dialogue in the Dark. Ah, I'm sure okay. you're familiar yes. with it as well. Correct. So, you know, where they really try to empower the blind by mm. having you know, one of their concepts is like a cafe concept where you just go in, it's entirely dark, mm. and the blinds are the ones who bring you around. Correct. So it makes you feel very vulnerable. Like, oh, I, I don't know how this, I, I can't see <laughs> and things like that. A totally, and, a totally brand new experience. Exactly. Yeah. And all these are such wonderful causes, mm. and they are actually hiring for talents as well. I see. Mm. Okay. Thanks for sharing with sure, us no and uh, you know guys, uh, for this uh, Singtel Future Makers, uh, every dollar that you donate to them, right, mm -hmm. Singtel will have a one for one matching. Yes. Yes, so please help them to achieve their goals and uh, I wish you all the best. Keep on continue to doing good to help all these, uh, you know, charities and also the social space to tell their stories, which they really lack of, by the way. Thanks so much. We <laughs> okay. hope to be able to make a change as well. Yeah, sure. Okay, folks, see the link there, click on it, don't hesitate. Help the next person. Yep. Help Talent Track. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Bye.